What's up, guys? It's Slayer from Team Ragnarok again with another weekly recap. And this week we have two Kagero cards, which I'm really excited for. So first up, we have the Triple Rare Grade 2, Igni Road Dragon. It has the auto skill of when placed, you look at the top seven cards of your deck, reveal up to one Dragonic Overlord to cross from among them, and put it into your hand, and then shuffle your deck. Also has the second skill of auto on rear guard circle, when your vanguard attacks, if your hand has four or less cards, this unit gains plus 5000 power until end of turn. So this is pretty good as it guarantees you're riding into the cross, and it gains power for your vanguard attacking multiple times, which you'll most likely do. And then moving on, we have Dragonic Overlord the Cross himself, with an axe skill of once per turn on the vanguard circle, you can soul blast one. Search a deck for up to one card of overall its card name that is different from this unit's and put it into your soul and shuffle your deck. Then this unit gains all that card's names and abilities until end of turn. Also, continuous skill on the vanguard circle. When your card effect will count the number of cards in your hand, it is regarded as zero. And if your opponent's vanguard is grade three or greater, this unit's drive cannot become zero or less. So I think this is a really good card as it allows you to enable first ride Dragonic Overlord the end skills. Even yeah. Even using the double restand, which is pretty good. Uh if you go second, it wouldn't even go down to zero drives because of its second continuous skill. His first continuous skill would also really help with it, as you can exceed the hand limit that was needed for the end. And just still be able to restand, which is pretty good. That's all I have for this week, but before the video ends, I have a quick word from our team captain, Brandon. Hey guys, it's Brandon from Team Ragnarok here. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick video to say thank you so much for all the support you guys have been giving us. Uh, we have just reached 100 subscribers, and that is amazing. Uh, I didn't think, and the team didn't think, that we would reach this milestone so quickly. Um, and that is all thanks to you guys for supporting us, watching our videos, giving us suggestions on what to make. Um, and it's been absolutely amazing so far. Uh, and I appreciate that it's been extremely difficult for everyone so far, you know, with this whole lockdown situation. And it has been incredibly difficult on our end to be uh, making videos and kind of supplying you guys with content. But we are still trying. Um... As lockdown is now easing for us in the UK, this means that we should be able to and might be able to start making more content for you guys. Um, I have to give a massive shout out to my team. They have all been working extremely hard. Uh, special shout outs to Leo who edits the videos and has been doing the weekly updates for any uh, card news that we've been receiving. So thank you, Leo. Um, but as I said, everyone on the team is eager to get more content done. We are all really happy with uh, hitting 100 subscribers so uh, quickly. Um, as I said, when we first made the team, we didn't think we would reach our first milestone uh, within a couple months. So thank you all so much. Um, we are hoping to get a lot more content done soon. And hopefully as soon as, you know, events start going back up and we can start going back to locals and everything, uh, we will get a lot more content out for you guys. But thank you again so much for the support. Um, I hope you'll continue to help us grow and we will continue to give you guys some hopefully some good Vanguard content. So thank you guys and I'll see you next time.